Okay, so we are going to be talking about Google Slides today and how to use it, how to put together your presentation for your research project. So basically what I have done here, I just opened up um, from Classroom. There, I've already put a um, attachment for your assignment here for Google Slides, so you're gonna click on it. It's gonna open up in Google Slides, and what you start with is just super simple, super basic, just plain white, basic text, um, not a lot to this. First thing you probably want to do is change your theme. That's kind of what we all sort of like to start with. The theme is how the slides look. This might be your colors, it might be your fonts, it might be the way the words are arranged on there. Um, so we're gonna go up to here where it says theme. Okay, now you don't have to start with this, but like I said, this is what a lot of people like to start with. So over here on the side, oops, I accidentally clicked that one. Um, you will see all these different themes um, for your presentation. Um, I accidentally clicked on this one, and so that's what it is right now. But I think I would like a little bit more color. Um, I'm going to go with this one called Pop. And so that kind of gives me an idea of what this first slide is going to look like. I'm going to exit this little window for my theme. So I've got some more room. And now I can work with stuff um, on my slide in a little more fun way. So you can kind of see right here, it, it tells you a lot what to do in some situations. So right here, it just says click to add title. So if I click right on this, those words are going to just disappear. And now I need to put my own title. Now, since I will pretend my research project was on hoverboards. Okay, so I'm gonna write hoverboards right here. And then my subtitle will probably be my name. So I'm gonna just say by Miss Beardeman. Okay, and that is all I need to do for my first slide. Um, I could add a picture if I wanted, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and add my next slide and then I'll put a picture in the next slide to show you how that works. So. My next slide, um, I come over here to where this little plus sign is, okay? And I can either just click right on the plus sign or I can click on this arrow right next to it and it's gonna give me a drop down menu. And these are the different um, slides that I could choose from for my presentation. I would like to choose, I'm gonna go with this one that just says title and body, cause I'm going to, I decided for my second slide, I'm gonna list um, what it, you need to do to make a hoverboard work, okay, in order to operate it, all right? So I get here again and I can see, I've just got right here, it says click to add title, click to add text. I'm gonna click up here and I'm going to say how to, um, use a hoverboard. Okay. And that works fine for that. Now what I can do here was says click to add text. I'm going to put how you use a hoverboard, what you do to make it go, what you do to make it turn, go forward, go backwards, do the different things you use it for. Um, you can just kind of list those things out or if you would like to write a paragraph out, you can. That's sort of up to you how you would like to make that look. Okay, but you just type right what you need in there. I'm not going to do that right this moment um, because I would also like to add a picture to this slide because it is just a solid white background. It's not super interesting. So to make it look kind of more fun, I'm going to add a picture. Now to add a picture, I'm going to come up here where um, it, it sort of looks like this box with mountains in it. Okay, and that's my picture tool. So if I click on that, um, now, I already was looking for hoverboard pictures earlier for this, so it, it, it automatically pulled this up. But usually when you'll do this, it will come up and look like this, okay? Now, um, all of these different things up here are different ways to get your picture. If you already had a picture, whether it was on your computer or in your Google Drive, um, you might be clicking on some of these other things. Um, if you were gonna use your webcam just to take a picture, you'd go to this user or take a snapshot. If you happen to know the web address for a specific picture, you would click on that. Uh, most of you will probably be searching though for pictures. So we're gonna click on search and then I'm gonna type in hoverboard, okay? And this is the same thing I was just on a little bit ago. Um, and I'm gonna pull up, 
Now, you might not find things that you necessarily need because this just pulls up anything that's tagged with the, the words hoverboard. And the word hoverboard was used for a thing that they had in a movie called Back to the Future, which is like what this picture is. So you might find a bunch of stuff that you don't at all need on websites like or when you do a search. So just kind of file through till you find what you do need. Um, and I'm going to say I like this one right here. So I'm going to click on that. I know it's selected because I've got this little check mark with it, and then I'm going to click select. Okay, so it adds it pretty big. It's way too big. It's covering my words. So I'm going to need to make it a little smaller. So since my picture is selected, which means um, that I can do anything to it, I've got these little blue boxes on the corners and the blue line all the way around it. So now I can do things to this picture. First, I need to make it smaller. So I'm going to come down to this corner. Whenever you shrink a picture, I'll say it's easier to do it from the corner than from one of the sides. If you do it from the sides, it's going to skew it all up. So let's come down to the corner. I'm going to click and drag to make it a little smaller. And then I also like to move it. I'm going to put it kind of down here in the bottom corner. And um, you can also rotate it a little bit. So up here, you see this little, it's kind of like a little line with a dot on the end of it. When I put my arrow on it, it becomes a plus sign. And so I can click and you can see sort of a shadow of the box rotating a little. Once I let go of my button, then it drags to make it a little bit angled, okay? So I'm gonna put a little bit of an angle kind of down here in the corner, um, and then it can kind of go just like that, okay? I can add text here, um, and, then, and then that slide is probably finished. When I'm ready to add another slide, I can come back up here again to my plus sign. Either I can click right on that plus sign. I'll actually show you what happens if I click on it. It adds another just basic, um, uh, slide to use, or I can click this little drop down and choose a specific one. Maybe I want to add this like section header thing. Okay. You know, if I have something really important to say, I can add that and just put that information right here. Okay. Now you can kind of see as I, uh, as I have built this, there are these um, boxes over here. It numbers them. It says right now, this is the order that my slides are going to go in. So when I, these are, I've got four slides so far. So now when I click on this one, okay, I come over here and I click on present. It's going to present what I have made. So I will see just that image, you know, full screen on my screen or full screen on the screen in the computer lab or the library um, to present it. And then when I click on the arrow key, it will go to the next one and then the next one and then the next one. Okay. If I want to just get rid of a slide like this one, I kind of like, eh, I don't really want to use this one over here where I've got my, my slide previews. I'm going to click on this. That's slide number three. And I can tell it's highlighted because there's this blue line, blue box around it. And I am just going to click, um, the backspace key, or you can click the delete key and it will just go away. Okay. You also can right click on it. If you're on your computer, I'm on a Chromebook at the moment, so I don't really have a right click. Um, but if you're on your computer, you can right click on that and then it gives you a little menu. Can you just say delete on that as well? Okay. So that's kind of basic Google slides. Um, we will be working on this couple, couple times in the computer lab, hopefully get your presentation all put together. Um, but that's sort of the basic steps for getting your slide presentation put together. Can't, can't wait to see what you guys all come up with.